ABC One. ABC One. ABC One. Tonight, grounded. An engineer and a senior pilot stood down as Qantas pushes back. This pilot is acting in accordance with the rules of the umpire, Fair Work Australia. It's a protected industrial action uh, and if he's going to be penalised as a result of doing what the umpire says he can do, well, uh, that seems completely unfair. Good evening and welcome to Late Line, I'm Steve Kinane. Clarence Darrow is widely regarded as America's greatest ever defence lawyer. Fighting tirelessly against capital punishment and in favour of individual liberty, Darrow was famous for taking on lost causes and winning them. His work defending African Americans in the 1920s laid some of the groundwork for the civil rights movement in the 1960s. And now, 70 years after his death, Clarence Darrow's life and trials are the subject of a new book. And tonight we'll talk to its author, John Farrell. That's coming up, but first our other headlines. Locked in debt. US politicians continue to bicker as the deadline for lifting America's debt ceiling approaches. But wait, there's more. Calls for news international executives to face more questioning about phone hacking. And searching for solutions. Seven months after the devastating Queensland floods, Victims are hoping an interim report due on Monday will give some answers. Industrial action at Qantas has stepped up a gear with a senior pilot becoming the first in 45 years to be stood down by the airline. Captain Steve Anderson has been docked pay and is making his own way home from Hong Kong after refusing to work extra time. Qantas says Captain Anderson has not been stood down at all, but the pilot is seeking legal advice. Meantime, concerns over the exploitation of foreign crews working for the Qantas subsidiary Jetstar may lead to new laws. Karen Barlow reports. Qantas wants to fly high, but it's battling industrial action on several fronts. We'll leave it there, but thanks very much for talking to us. OK, thank you. And for a detailed look at the financial consequences of the US defaulting on its debt, we're joined in the studio by economics correspondent Stephen Long. Stephen, Steve. before we get to the, uh, the debt issue, we've just had some figures out on economic growth in the US. Good news or bad news? Bad news. The second quarter growth figures have come out much weaker than the market was expecting, Steve. 1.3% annualised pace. Attorney of the Damned is the latest biography of Clarence Darrow, drawing on new, newly released letters and archive material. It's written by John Farrell, a senior writer at the Centre for Public Integrity and a former White House correspondent for the Boston Globe. And John Farrell joins us now from our Washington studio. John, thanks very much for talking to us. Hey, and congratulations on a wonderful segment. I feel like I can just go home. <laughs> Why more than 70 years after his death does, does he have so much significance still? I think because he was uh, such a fighter for the common man. And in uh, early uh, 19, uh, late 19th century America, early 20th century America, there were these huge oppressive forces beginning to weigh down uh, on the little guy. Thank you very much for having me. And now to the weather. Windy with a little rain for Melbourne. Light afternoon rain in Hobart. Light morning raid in Adelaide, showers in Perth, partly cloudy in Canberra. Mostly fine for Brisbane, mostly sunny in Sydney and Darwin. And that's all from us. If you'd like to look back at tonight's interview with John Farrell or review any of Lateline's stories or transcripts, you can visit our website. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Ali Moore will be back on Monday night. Enjoy your weekend. Good night.